Steve, where are ya? Come on! Are you as big as Juniper now, buddy? Oh, yes! What a sweet Steve. Give him kisses, give him a kiss. Oh, good girl, Aspen, that's your buddy. We love Steve. We love Steve. Juniper's cleaning him. It's time you quit doing that, Juniper. I think he's good. Ugh. Hi, buddy. Steve. You gotta eat from the feeder, man. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. We are, I am, inside of my beautiful barn that we built. We had built the addition onto at least this year. And I have to do some work in here. It's getting dark in this, it's getting dark in the season. It's getting late in the season. And with that means it's getting darker earlier. Right now it is 15 after one. And I mean, the camera, let's see if the camera will pick up. Kind of feels like, Nighttime already almost. It's pretty drab and dreary outside. So it's a good time to work inside the barn. Now, I have a little method to my madness with my tools that are in here. Um, but in order to put them away, I need to be able to see. And the only reason why I can kind of see in right here right now is because that door is open, letting some light in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some lights in here. I've been talking about doing it for a while, but I need to do it. It's gotta, it's gotta happen now because this is, it's too dark in here. So my first line of business is to get some temporary light in here. I mean, the camera really shows it to be brighter than what it actually is. It's pretty dark in here. I can't see tools that are in front of me. This camera is actually pretty incredible for that. But I've got this old, we use these as heat lamps for when we have chicks, um, but it's missing an, an end because probably the goats chewed on it or something. So I need to quickly put a end on this and get it set up so I can see what I'm about to do. I figured I'd hide some of the footage so you guys don't think this is a DIY. Because <laughs> I certainly don't want you guys trying any of this at home and saying, well, Greg, worked for Greg, you should work for me. This is sketchy business here, just hooking up old cables together just to make a, a light work. I mean, you didn't learn it here. <laughs> So free is the name of the game here on this project. Now these weren't free, but I think we paid $5 a piece for them. We were gonna install them. Actually we did install them in our kitchen for a little while, but they just weren't the right fit for the kitchen. Now these are by no means the right fit for in here, but you can't compete with the price. We own them and they will emit light. So that should be good enough for what's going on in here. So I'm gonna put one up over here and one up over here. And that should give at least a good start to good light inside our little barn here.
Okay. There we go. Now I'm sure that you've noticed that I'm using an old extension cord. It's just LED lights that I'm running through here. I'm not running any serious power draw. It is a thicker extension cord. I think it's a 14 gauge extension cord. So it's a thicker line. It'll be well, well enough for this little barn to run some lights. So I know it's not done the right way, but it's definitely done an okay way. Eve, hey, hey buddy, quit getting so old, man. What the heck? Look at how long your, your horns are already. What's your plan, bud? <laughs> okay, so the sun's kind of come out a little bit. You can see it's a little bit brighter in here, but I've got everything wired up uh, to this. Now, I probably should have a switch here and I probably will in the future. But for now, so that I can work in here, I can plug this into our Jackery and look at that. Let there be light. Oh my goodness, what a mess this is. Anyway, so I got these two lights in. I'm gonna clean this mess up. I'm gonna put another light right here over on the goat side. And then hopefully I can get this fence set up so that this little booger right here, this one, stays out of the feed and stops pooping all over my stuff. With always being so busy building the house and, and building something outside or moving a barn and having it fall over and having to light it on fire, all the things that we have to do around. It's really nice to get my, even though it's not super fancy, it's not super organized, but I can find everything because it's all hanging on the wall. I don't have to dig through a bucket anymore for it. It feels so good to have this clean enough for me. So I'm really happy that this is done now because they, the greasy, sorry, the squeaky wheel gets the grease and this has certainly been the squeaky wheel because I can't find any of my tools because they're always in buckets or we're moving them around or they're under a tarp where we're working. Everything, well, not everything, but I've got a whole bunch of tools in the boxes down here below too, but everything's at my fingertips now and i know that if it's not up here it'll be in those two boxes down there oh, feels good to have that done so jackery has been a long time supporter of our channel and now we've been a long time supporter of their products this is the jackery explorer 3000 pro we've had this unit for a while and we've dropped it and we've used it in the cold, in the winter, in the summer, fall and spring. It's always been there for us. It's never let us down. It's never had any issues, no problems. It charges very quickly. It goes from zero to 80% in a hundred minutes. So this is gonna be the power station that we install in our barn for all of the power in the barn. That's lights and obviously electrical outlet. If you're a long time viewer of ours, you know that we rely on this thing. We've taken this camping five times this year. We have other power stations, but this is the one that we like to use because it's got 3,024 watt hours. And if by chance we need to use a bunch of power, which isn't really typical when we go camping, it can do up to 3,000 watts. So this is the one we reach for all the time. We also have this set up in our home so that we can plug this into a transfer switch. So if by chance our solar equipment stops working in our main power shed, we have a wonderful large capacity backup power source that we can use. If you're interested in checking out a Jackery for yourself, we're gonna put links down in the description and a big thank you to Jackery for sponsoring today's video. The rain is back. So we're gonna do some drywall sanding today. We're gonna try really hard to make this good enough to paint over. Two coats. Two coats, hopefully. 
Wish us luck. <laughs> All right, we are done with sanding. We just had some lunch. This looks really good. So we're just gonna go ahead and start painting in here. Uh, I'm gonna start taping up all the windows and stuff. And um, Greg is gonna go dig out the paint gun and it should go pretty quick. We've got a little bit of primer left still. We still have tons of white paint left from the house. So hopefully this goes quickly as well. Uh, turning out pretty nice in here, so happy about that. best part. This is the best part. The paint goes on the wall so fast and everything changes like this. So this is what we've been looking forward to. I'm really, really excited that we only had to do two coats of drywall. We actually did a pretty good job considering we're quite novice to it. And we're um, only doing one room so you can actually... And we're only doing one room. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna get the paint down and see how it goes. Hopefully we got enough for one coat. Oh, you're going way outside of the thing. Of course we ran out of paint. We just need enough primer for this room 
Um, we got everything except for that wall. But the nice thing is we do have a little bit of exterior primer. We're gonna try no, to use- No, it's interior as well, but it's oh. acrylic, not Oh, it's just a different style of primer. Okay, well, we've got a different type of primer that we're gonna put on this wall. And this wall is gonna be covered mostly by um, laundry stuff anyway. So if it looks, it's primer, right? It doesn't really matter. Should be good. That's what we're banking on. So Katie's gonna roll the wall instead of spray it. And uh, yeah, wish us luck. Definitely a little bit of a different color, I think. But well, whatever. It gets covered in paint. Well, I think we did a good job. It's really hard to tell right now because it's dark, but I can't really see very many imperfections in our mud, which is good because our first time around when we did the rest of the house, we definitely didn't do an amazing job. We tried, we had to do a bunch of coats of mud, but for two coats of mud, I mean, I found a couple little spots that if the sun's coming in in a weird weird way, might you might see it, but I'm pretty happy with everything that's been done in here. But that's it for tonight. We're gonna get at this tomorrow morning. Good dogs. Good. All right, it's the next morning. We are ready to get some paint on the walls. Before we do that, we're going to do a quick sand, just a light kind of once over to knock back any sort of bumps. And then we'll be ready to keep going with paint. Perfect. Go Katie! Go! Yay! Sand the paint! <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can do this. Can there. Holy mackerel, is that so much better or what? Sneaker, what are you doing? Ah, I don't want to be in here! <laughs> Get out of here, you guys! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we want to be in there too. <laughs> Did miss up there quite a bit though. Notice how it's going in now?
Well, we are not off to an incredible start. Um, we've got two thirds of the walls painted and the gun's broken, but luckily we do have some rollers. So I think we're going to just finish the, this coat with rollers and, uh, call it good. So no big deal. Sucks. The gun costs money and it doesn't work now. So we've been cleaning it out really well. So I recommend not buying this gun that we were using, <laughs> but we're going to start rolling and we'll finish this off. This is what we have for uh, a paint, a tray liner, um, some wax paper. So hopefully that works. <laughs> Gonna let that dry for a little bit and then we'll get the next coat on. All right, we are finished with the paint. We got the second coat on. It looks really good. So far with this lighting, the drywall looks 100%. We don't have any sun coming in, which might change things. Um, and I don't think we're gonna get direct sunlight in here until spring with the way the sun is on the horizon now. But even with the lights on, it looks pretty darn good. So we're happy with that. We're gonna have a lot of stuff on the walls, like a coat rack and freezers and the laundry machine so it should be just fine I'm not sure what we're gonna get up to next but you'll have to tune in to find out thanks for being here and we'll see you in the next one